Hello, I'm Laura Ross and I am seeking candidacy for the Paul Mitchell Scholarship for the fall class of 2020. I want to start this video um, more as a theory or a hypothetical or even a memory jog. Have you ever had a client that comes in and has no idea what they want, tells you to do whatever, can't make a decision about color, cut, do they want their eyebrows tinted, waxed, you name it. They just see their body's present, but they're not there. And have you seen them months later after the staging process of, you know, getting someone where, somewhere with them, somewhere they want to be, and all of a sudden you've created this relationship, this bond with somebody where you took them when they were broken and you helped facilitate them, implore them to make life better for them. I say this because that was me three years ago. After a terrible divorce, I lost most everything that I loved overnight. Most importantly, I lost my dignity and I didn't care about myself anymore. I didn't care what my hair looked like. I didn't wear makeup. I felt worthless and that's a terrible feeling to have. And I waited way too long to go see my hairstylist because it just sounded so daunting to have to sit and tell your story and not know what you want because you don't know yourself anymore. My hairstylist became my lifeline. I had two hours once a month for several months just to vent, just to listen. And she will never know that she facilitated me to building me back up to where I am a confident person. I know my value and I know what I can do for others now that I am healed. So that being said, I, my vision is to gain experience in a salon setting and I would like to open up my own salon for the primary purpose of being able to pay it forward. If I could have one client come in and I watch the transition that a trim does. A few highlights, a few lowlights, a cut, anything. An ear, a therapist. I need to do that because that's what saved my life. And I will always be in pursuit of learning more uh, of the cosmetology industry and not for vain reasons. I need to do this because I know that change starts with us and the community and the world is in disarray right now. But if you can take one person for two hours and make them feel noticed You've impacted a life far more than you ever will. When you change somebody or when you give somebody the confidence to know they matter, they'll never forget you. I also would like to start a trend with this because I want my signature on everybody's hair. I want them, my broken clients, not broken, not broken. I want my clients who don't value themselves to value themselves. I want people to recognize, hey, who did your hair? Oh, she did. She's great. Let me tell you my story. And one by one, I can transform a community just by stamping my name on their hair, but I can't do this without the help of Paul Mitchell. So as a collaborative effort, 
I want to be a part of this team. I think I'll greatly benefit from the scholarship. And this could be the start of something big. For the end of this slide, or for the end of this video, I'm gonna attach photos from a few years ago and I want, to, I want you to pay attention to the minute details. Um, my facial expression, my slumped shoulders. Look at me now and look at that. And I think you'll know then how sincere this video is. I thank you so much for the opportunity. I also thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to this. I feel heard. Thank you.